Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone if you want to get a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. Uh, if you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below where you can book your rest of October. I am running a special for personal reading, 30 minute phone call special. So do go over and check that out. You can also follow me on my other YouTube channel called Moon Pie Tarot and I upload daily readings over there as well. All right, you guys. So keep in mind, this is gonna be a general weekly reading. Take what fits, leave the rest. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Hello everyone in the chat. So let's take a look and see what the messages are for the week coming up for you. All right, let's get into this. Oh, how apropos for October, the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over, no second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay, so something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I have all these skulls on my table, by the way. I did switch my my format around a little bit. Look at This is crazy. Like, it's just so fitting for Halloween. Maybe somebody's dressing up like the, the Grim Reaper for Halloween as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, something is ending here. Let me see. Something, or something has ended, or something is over. Wow, it's shock. Shocking. A sudden change. Shocking news. A surprise. Epiphany. Upheaval. Transformation. Okay, so there's going to be some news about a relationship ending. Finding out about that this week coming up here. And the dragonfly. Now, this fell out in the reverse. Um, okay, I feel like this is being lighthearted. This is finding out things coming to light okay hmm. so it did fall out in the reverse i feel like um you may not know about this um you may find out about it later honestly oh i forgot to turn my little well probably you won't be able to see it but i feel like you may find out about this later um or you might like you might find out about it some other time i don't know if i mean i don't feel like this has to do with you i feel like you're gonna find out about a relationship coming to an end with someone that you know someone that you're connected with or you're connected to someone that maybe they're in because obviously i mean if you're in a relationship with someone you're going to know if the relationship is coming to an end or it's ending. Yeah, I kind of feel like you're going to find out about something like this. Something this week that's coming to an end. Okay, let me see what else is going on. So that's really interesting information. It's going to surprise you, that's for sure. Um, some of you might find out about it and you might just be like, holy, oh my God, I can't believe it. Okay. All right. I feel like some of you might kind of already know that this is happening, right? You might kind of, I feel like your energy is like, you know, I kind of felt like it was going to go that way or something wasn't going to last or that it was just a matter of time before that relationship ended or that thing that, yeah, there was somebody's going to trip up. Or there's going to be a mistake here because look at the fool. I feel like some of you are kind of like uh, I told them, I tried to warn them that thing wasn't going to last. It wasn't going to like they're, they're you're, you're a damn fool. Yeah, definitely. They're making a mistake. Look at the doggy. It's like trying to warn this person. You're about to fall off. You're about to step off that cliff. You don't know what you're doing. Look at you. You're making a big mistake. 
you, Virgo, you knew that somebody here was gonna is was making a huge mistake. They were getting involved with somebody, and that it wasn't gonna last. They were like a damn fool. Yeah. So I kind of feel like it's like you. This week, it's kind of like you knew it was gonna happen, but it was just like when. So you kind of find out about it, but you kind of like, well, I just knew already. Like I kind of knew. That's why I felt like the dragonfly is in the reverse. It fell out in reverse, but I put it here upright. So like somebody might say to you, hey, did you hear? Or you like you kind of hear through the grapevine, something along those lines of like, oh, you know, they broke up or that's, this thing didn't work out. And you just kind of like, yeah, I figured. I kind of knew. You know what I mean? It's like that, that kind of energy. Or you hear about it, or you do find out, and it's like, it's shocking, but at the same time, it's not. <laughs> so it'd be a connection to an Aquarius. There could be an Aquarius involved in this. Okay, so yeah, that's the energy I'm picking up this week as far as this situation going. Um... Now, it doesn't have to just be about a breakup. It could be something to do with someone at your career, like at your work, where <clears throat> somebody gets hired and some stuff's going on. They turn out to be like awful and you find out that person's like let go. And they don't want, they don't stay at the job. They wind up like, like getting fired or something like that. You know what I mean? It's like some type of Grim Reaper energy. <laughs> connected to you or in your circle in some way you know somebody trips up and they make a mistake yeah this is big time let me see what else is going on here wow yeah the moon shady 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 behavior some kind of shady behavior am i centered i'm not centered this is like my ocd is just not having it so yeah there's some kind of shady behavior with this the moon definitely pisces energy here somebody could be on the cusp of aquarius pisces but deception lies deceit hiding things your gut is like nope i knew it i knew something was going to come out eventually it's like virgo you're this week it's like i feel like you 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 get some kind of downloads this week where you're like, uh, the energy, I can feel it, I can sense, you sense it, that something's coming to an end or that there's like two people, that something's not working out or you're finding out about someone and they're not going to be able to maintain some kind of facade, they screw up, they slip up, something happens, it's just a matter of time. So somebody... Um, makes a big mistake they trip up they get caught they get found out there's a huge or you find out there's a huge fallout that happens this week as far as like a breakup or a separation or something happens okay let's see what else is going on wow hmm page of cups oh you're getting an apology from someone this week as well yes Oh, Virgo. Mm hmm. For some of you, it's from a water sign. No, oh, yes. Mm hmm. You're getting an apology. Oh, there's that Aquarius card again. I'm just, this right here, I'm not kidding, is some strong Pisces Aquarius cusp energy. Now I know it's not going to resonate for all of you. So, so don't force it to fit. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. It could be anybody. It's definitely an apology coming to you from somebody. But if it, like, is more specifically for some of you, it's either a water or Aquarius. Um, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Aquarius, or Pisces, Aquarius, Cusp, right? But either way, there's definitely, like, I'm sorry, I want to fix this. Can I make it up to you? Can I heal this? Can we fix this thing? Can we renew it? Can we try to, you know, heal this thing? Yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> my goodness. Oh my God. <clears throat> you're definitely going to be finding this out. And you're, I, I don't know, Virgo. Somebody trips up. Something happens. It's going to be a shock. It's definitely going to be a shock. I don't feel like, 
I just don't feel like you're going to expect this coming in. Okay, got the Empress. I feel like this person is like really gaming a little bit here. Not in a negative way, but I just feel like... This, oh gosh, okay, they just said, this person is, is like, all right, I'm just going to have to put it, uh, listen, I, I just got to say it the way it comes out. This person, <clears throat> excuse me, it's like, it's like a kid that goes out on the playground and F's around and finds out. And then they got to come back in and they got to like tail between their legs and they got to tell their mom what they did. <laughs> and they got to like confess that they, they threw the fruit first punch. It was actually them. <clears throat> you know, they, they weren't the victim. They actually, they were the one that started it. And, you know, they got to come in and confess and they got to apologize. That's, kind of what I feel like is going on here and like can you please like don't don't put me in time out <laughs> it's kind of like what I feel this person is coming back like it looks like kind of coming to you and just being in that energy like yeah um, you know uh, yeah I got in a fight <laughs> it doesn't actually have to be a fight but it is kind of like it's symbolic of like I got into some trouble like I went out there and yeah I got into some trouble you know um it, it's not really someone who's coming in and being like oh you know they started it and you know I got dragged into this and then another I feel like they're kind of taking like accountability like actually I was stupid you know I made a mistake here and that's yeah there's judgment yeah so that's the energy here like taking accountability I know I made a mistake. This is like coming clean. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, if, whether you want that or not, I mean, I just don't know, Virgo, but I do feel like you know, why is this person doing this? Like, why are they coming in with this energy towards Virgo? Like, why? What do they have? What, are, what is the, because, you know, even if this is like a work thing, if you're their boss or like you're significant to this person for some reason, um, are, are they going to lose something here? Like, why is this person coming to Virgo? What's the significance? Why is this so important? What is the relation? Why is this person coming to Virgo with like this apology. Wow. Eight of Swords. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my gosh, my grandson is like being a dinosaur again out in the other room. He's so loud. <laughs> um so this person I feel like this person really Okay, so they were all up in their ego. I will tell you that. Like, I don't feel there's any kind of game playing or manipulation or anything like that going on with this person. This person was fear-based and ego-based um, in the connection with you, okay? That's that's mostly what I feel like, even with the Eight of Swords, or, I'm sorry, the Six of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this person just was stuck. There's a lot of stuck energy, a lot of pushback energy, and they did not 
it feels like they just could not come out of their comfort zone. They just would not make change. They weren't ready to transition. They just wanted to stay where they were and receive all kinds of attention and make all the, you know, receive all the rewards, all the recognition. You know, even though they had this partnership or this connection or this contract or this, you know, this union here with you. I mean, whatever it was, like there was some kind of deal. There was something, there was some kind of connection between the two of you, whether it was like a work partnership or romantic, you know, your colleagues, your friends, whatever it might have been. There was some kind of connection between the two of you that was quite significant and still is like it's valuable um and for some reason i feel like this person somehow felt like maybe there was something better for them um or something that could be more transforming. I just kind of feel like, you know, that Grim Reaper vibe that really gives me this energy of like this person kind of thought that they were looking at their future and it was like they saw like dollar signs or they saw like um, they were attracted to the, the glitter that's what I'm hearing. Like they were attracted to the glitz and the glam, but what they really like after all that faded, <laughs> they actually met the Grim Reaper. <laughs> and what and like I always like I can't help myself, but the Grim Reaper is like pig on a lips uh, lipstick on a pig, right? The Grim Reaper is like the ghost of the, the future, right? Um, in that. Christmas Carol story, right? He comes in and he shows you what your future, like in that story, that's what the Grim Reaper, you know, he just is like, look, this is what's, if you don't straighten your shit out, I feel like that's what they, that's what they kind of like faced death in some way, you know? Um, I just feel like this person realizes or your person, like in whatever kind of connection you have, it feels like a real wake up call. That's what judgment is, you know, and they're kind of like looking back on their past in a lot of ways here with judgment is judgment is like when we kind of take a look at our past and we look at our mistakes and we kind of like get clarity and realize how, you know, we were self like kind of putting ourselves in our own prison making ourselves like it was no one else to blame we were doing it to ourselves you know that self-imposed prisoner energy <clears throat> um we were trapping ourselves in our own mental beliefs in our own uh mental prison and we were defensive and pushing back all the time we weren't willing to change make the necessary transition to change we just wanted all the praise, all the um, the praise, and we just wanted people. We were seeking approval. Um, we were seeking recognition. We just wanted to be the hero, but deep inside, we were really like, um, not we, uh, not Virgo. I'm saying like this person. This person was just really egotistical. Like, just this is what was important to them. Um, seeking everything else, all the validation, but you know, like pretty much a mess inside. This is what I feel like this person is kind of coming to themselves. Like this, just this. They weren't authentic. That's what I feel like is going on here. This person was not authentic. So they went out there into the world doing whatever they were doing. And they pretty much got like a lightning bolt to the head, like right to the crown chakra, right to the ego, you know, in whatever, some kind of way. And not it got like they got knocked back whether that was in another relationship with someone or that was just whatever they were trying to do they got knocked back like pretty badly um and it kind of woke them up that's what i feel like and like so this week i feel like you find out about it in some way and some of you are just kind of like yeah i just figured i knew i tried to warn them you know um why would you give everything up why would you give up 
your family, your this great job, you're walking away from everything to go chase these waterfalls. Why are you doing this? You know, it's just, it's going to crash and burn. Like you're not thinking clearly. And I feel like, like it comes back around to this, to this person. It hits them, you know, and they come back with this kind of like, oh, I went back out there and I really screwed up. And they come in trying to apologize and trying to kind of like scoop back everything that they lost into their life. You know, yeah, that's what I feel like this message is this week. Um, try to get their job back try to get their life back, try to get their their home back, try to recover everything. There's a lot of that energy playing out here. So I feel like for you, Virgo, this is a little bit of an I told you so kind of reading because I, I just kind of get a sense that you already know, you already knew. It's, it was just really for you. It's just like, okay, when is... When was it? It was just a matter of when, not if. And some of you might have been kind of like, well, maybe it's never going to happen. But that's just kind of you losing your patience or losing your faith. You know, um, it's a little bit of a karmic retribution. That's kind of what I feel. It's not revenge or anything. Sometimes I feel like you might have been in this place where it's like, um, I want, you know, you want to teach them a lesson, but that never works. You're not bigger than karma. People, people don't. People learn their lessons by um, life. Teaches people life lessons are taught best, not lessons taught by other people. Don't you agree? I, I, I believe that. Now I get this really cool thing, kind of deck. I found this at a Goodwill store. <laughs> So I thought, let me try this. Let me just check this out. Look, it was $2.49. That's cheap for a deck of cards. And I said, okay, I'm going to check it out. So I'm just going to pop this open, little haul here, and try it out on you guys. I'm just going to pull a few cards, see what comes up. Now it is Signs and Sky Mates, it's called. It just has like astrological compatibility deck. I have no idea. <coughs> If it's even sold anymore, I was just perusing the Goodwill, you know, like we do as Virgos. We're always looking for a bargain, just checking things out. And I saw this and I was like, ooh. All right, maybe I'd like to say I found this, but I maybe it found me. All right, let me take a look and just see what it tells me. I want to ask to see what signs, what sign this might be, this person. But let's take a look and see what it says. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm coughing a lot lately. I think my asthma has really been. Bleh. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got a Libra here. Okay. Can you tell me another sign that this person might be for Virgo? Who is Virgo dealing with? <coughs> okay. We've got Aries. Leo, Cancer, Leo, that's the compatibility part, definitely double Leo there, let's see, who else, Cancer and Pisces, that's interesting, Scorpio and Sagittarius, okay, that's interesting, so it is just a card of, um, yeah, it gives you all the planets, we got Gemini showing up here. That doesn't surprise you, right? I feel like Gemini is always in the readings. And I'll get one more. Let's see. Somebody's definitely Fafo. Definitely Fafo. Okay and Pisces. Okay. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's check the Chinese signs and see what Chinese signs, who is this person? Chinese signs. This could be you. This could be them. Could be both of you or none. Okay. You're starting with the year of the ox. Okay. Year of the tiger. 
Year of the Rooster. Year of the Goat. Year of the Rabbit. Monkey. Rat. And a pig. Okay? Yes. Yes. All right. What other messages are there for Virgo? Other messages for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know here? Oh. Okay. You've got reflect. Virgo, it says go into your cave for a while. You need to regroup and you need to recollect. A lot is going on and you need some alone time. Stay in the stillness, in the quiet, but don't get lost. Tell people you're taking a vacation and pull out for a little while. You need a recharge, Virgo. That's your card anyway. That is the hermit. Okay. We've got putting in some effort. So I feel like this is about putting in some effort to just kind of go in, especially when you find out about this. When this comes to light this week, you're going to really need to like kind of, and especially if you get an apology or you hear from this person coming in this week to talk about what happened. Because you might be, they want to talk to you. Uh, about this situation um, and you might not want to talk to them or it might be like oh here we go that kind of thing and you might want to stop you might want to pause to try to figure out how you can handle this or what you're going to say so put in the put in some serious effort to think about how you're going to respond rather than react okay to this because this is going to need some careful attention from you <clears throat> especially if they're coming in to apologize or if they get in some trouble and now they're turning around and coming your way with some sweet text messages and stuff like that yeah you got spying and deception here you may need to find out because there might be a little bit of like hmm what's going on why are you reaching out to me? You, did you get, like, you you effed around and you found out that you screwed up and now you're coming back in? Are you, are you coming in because you got caught or are you coming back in because, like, what, what's going on? You know, that you got to, so that's when I feel like, you know, you need to reflect on this kind of thing here. Okay, highly logical male. That's you, uh, male or female energy. Like you need to be very logical about this situation, not um, not have an emotional reaction to it. You need to, to, if you're going to respond, to be very logical and objective and, and reason this thing out here. Okay. And then you've got take a risk. What have you got to lose? Starting over can be tough, but it's time to spread your wings. Don't overthink it. Okay. So that's what the hermit does, right? The hermit goes within and spends a specific amount of time to reason things out. The hermit does not isolate too long. Okay. Um, does not shut him, him or herself off from the world forever. Um, the hermit does come back out eventually <clears throat> the hermit just goes in long enough just to reflect and ponder on um the hermit just takes a time out that's all um the hermit puts themselves in a time out um for as much time as needed to sort through um a dilemma right so i feel like For some of you, the question is, um, do you want to start over with this person if they've learned the lesson? Um, and, and the question is, do you, do you want to find out if they've, like, did they go out and learn their lesson? You got to find out if they're really coming in because they've like, okay, now they've learned their lesson and now we're ready to talk and now we're going to figure this out. And you got to find out if that's what they're doing or they did they, you know, did they... Or are they just coming back in because they got nowhere else to go? You know what I mean? That kind of thing. So I, I feel like that's 
but don't overthink it. You just need to try to kind of find out and ask questions. Really, if you're going to talk to them, like ask questions. Like, well, what did you learn? You know, you got to ask the questions. You can't be fearful of asking questions. And if someone says to you, you're asking too many questions, then that's, that's a sign that they didn't learn anything. And then you got to shut your door. Um, Okay, you also have a material gift coming in for you this week, which feels like it's not related to this reading. Um, so somebody's offering, you're going to receive a gift. Maybe Publisher's Clearinghouse. <laughs> or somebody gives you a gift this week. Could be from a neighbor or a friend. Um, something sweet. Oh, you also have um, the Wheel of Fortune. Nice. You know, it's funny because at first, and I didn't say this. Well, I did say Publisher's Clearinghouse, which to me is kind of up there with like lotto and gambling. Somebody, somebody here is going to hit that lottery. I'm telling you. I don't know how much you're going to hit. Some might hit the big one. Some of you just might, I don't know, you might win 50 bucks on a scratch off. I'm telling you, luck is on your side this week. So go play. I don't care. Scratch something off. I, go get the penny that's sitting at the bottom of by your your you know your gas pedal there that's been sitting there on the, your floor in your car you just keep meaning to pick it up and you don't that's the lucky penny go get that it's on the floor of your car go get that and use that to scratch off some of those scratch off tickets or you know i don't know order some of those tickets on your phone or go into the the lotto machine and get something you got the wheel of fortune here i'm telling you that's the material gift. That's a little bit of money coming in. Hell, anybody could... Look, listen. With the price of groceries these days, the price of gas, maybe you'll win like a gas cart or something. Times are not easy these days, you know? Go for it. Go win a little bit of money. Can't hurt. Can't hurt, Bert. All right, Scrabble time. I love that Ralph is like, ooh, Scrabble time, because that's what I'm calling it now. It's too funny. Oh, look, we've got an Aries here. All right, so there might be a connection to an Aries. Let's roll that again. And there's Libra. So we did see a Libra. And then, oh, Aquarius. Okay. All right, let's get some numbers here and see what's going on. So someone is 45. All right, we've got the number 87. We've got 71, and we've got 50, okay, hmm, September 19th, September 12th, significant, nope, that just moved, okay, September 2nd, significant, okay, all right, give me a second here, y'all, somebody's got jury duty coming up this week. Sorry for you. Although I know some of you do like jury, do, like go on to be in the middle. I, you know what? I don't blame you. I would not want to sit on jury duty though. I, I just, just show me the crime documentary. I don't want to sit in jury duty all day. Um, all right. Not much going on here. So I'm just going to give you, um, we have the initial F as in Frank. We have a D. Oh, someone's in the fire department. <coughs> a fraternal order of police. A fraternal order of police. Fire department. Um, somebody's name is Guy. G U I. Guy. Uh, oh, somebody's getting flowers this week. F T D. Yep, flowers. You're gonna get a flower delivery. Okay. Um, so yeah. The initial R, the initial F, initial T, the initial D. We've got a U and we have a Y. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there because you guys, you know, I could go on with that. All right, and let me get a charm. Okay, did you guys see the solar eclipse? Yeah, if were you in the area, did you live in an area where you could see a solar eclipse? Solar eclipse. <laughs> it's like in reverse, I guess. The solar eclipse. Um, super, super cool. I did not see it. I don't live in an area where it is, but did see videos of it. Okay, so here we go. 
this is a very straightforward message for me that they're giving me and I'm just going to show this to you and it's just one charm so I'm going to keep this very simple right now all right you guys so you do have what I th what I believe is I'm not sure if it's an octopus or a squid um I can't really see it all that well. My glasses, I'm gonna have to switch glasses. Yes. I think it might be, oh yeah, looks like, um. well, I guess it's an octopus. Whatever it is, the point is, it's got tentacles. So um, I have to tell you, the message that I was getting about this thing is, <laughs> I hate saying it, but it's true. Um, there's an energy around you. There's an energy, um, a, like some, it's somebody or some type of energy that's like pulling at you this week. You might feel that, like you feel like you've got, that cliche to say, but tentacles on you. Like somebody... Uh, has, or wants to get their tentacles all over you they're seeing there's like this pulling energy it's almost like um but it's not bad i feel like somebody just is trying to keep you, hold you back it doesn't want you to go um it, it, it feels like no don't do it i'm hearing don't go don't do it don't go don't do it don't go that's what i they keep saying don't do it don't go come here i want to hold you i want to hug you just stay with me that's what i hear yeah, so I don't know, like, if it's an energy, if it's a person. <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling that real strong. I'm not exactly sure if it's this person or if it's other people who are trying to tell you don't, don't make a mistake or don't, you know, or if it's this person trying to say, don't leave me. I'm not sure what's going on here. But yeah, that's the strongest message that I feel with that octopus i don't know if squid if squid do that if they do squid have tentacles i have no idea i know people eat them so um yeah i don't know some of you might just be having some octopus or octopi octopus for dinner <clears throat> or having some or enjoy that maybe that's a favorite food that you like to eat <clears throat> not me but that's okay so yeah i'm gonna leave that reading there for you i hope that that message gives you a little enlightenment and I hope you enjoyed that. Again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. I'm going to try to do the members only Q&A this week. I will um, upload uh, uh, the live stream for when you guys will be able to join in on that. <clears throat> yeah, and so I will see you all back here tomorrow. All right, have a great night. Have a great week going forward and I will see you all very shortly. All right, take care.